thinking back on all the things I have written, one word comes to mind, faith. I always seem to talk about faith in one way or another. In fact, my first blog was about faith. Well, as I was reading my Bible the other day, I was reminded of that word again. It's like I knew the importance of having faith, but it didn't hit me until that day. The words I read made it clear as day as to why faith is so important. For those of you who are curious, I was reading Romans chapter 4. The whole chapter is about how works and our position cannot save us. It is faith that saves us. Faith in Jesus, who came and sacrificed his life so that we may be saved. It is not enough to be a good person because that can be subjective as to what a good person means. It is not enough to be of a certain religion or to just know of God. Faith in him is important. Throughout Romans 4, it talks about Abraham. He is used, of course, because he is a great example of faith. His faith in God is seen many times. When he left his homeland to go to a foreign land, when he and his wife were told that they would have a son in their old age, even when God told him to sacrifice his son, whom he loved so, so much, he continued to have faith. God took care of Abraham and his family. God even promised him that he would make him the father of many nations. He has fulfilled that promise. Romans 4, 16 shows, Therefore, it is of faith that it might be according to grace, so that the promise might be sure to all the seed, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. When we look at Abraham's life as a whole, we see how important faith is. His faith kept him obedient to God. Anytime God told him to do something, Abraham willingly obeyed. He knew that God would lead him down the right path. It is the same for us. Our faith causes us to want to obey him because we know that God will guide us to his best. Isaiah 58 11 says, The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Faith gives us strength. In the worst times of our lives, faith in him gets us through it. God gives us this unexplainable peace to see through the storm. It's like getting caught in heavy rain. Then someone comes and covers you with their umbrella so that you no longer get wet. Our faith gives us the strength to keep fighting because we know that everything will be okay in the end. Philippians 4, 7 states, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When you have faith, you also have love, joy, peace, kindness, patience, and self-control. All these things are hard to achieve on your own. However, faith makes it a little easier to have them. We need to stop trying to do things alone. When you do that, we are more than likely to fail. Let God help you. The way you can do that is by keeping your eyes and your faith in Him. Isaiah 41.10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I know that having faith is easier said than done. Even Abraham, who had great faith, faltered at times. However, one thing is certain. Even when we lack faith, he is faithful. God always fulfills his promises to us and never leaves us to fend for ourselves. We should take courage in that fact alone. I know it's hard, but don't lose your faith. Call out to him and he will save you from the storm. Psalm 34, 17 through 18 says, The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who who are crushed in spirit. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to check out my blog, which you will find a link to it in the description below. 
I hope you all have a blessed day. Before I go, I will leave you with this. In Numbers 6, 24 through 26, it says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.